<sighs> I apologize, you guys. I'm so, 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 so sorry. We're 10 minutes late or eight, whatever. You guys were late and I apologize. Okay, so, oh, a little bit uh, scatterbrained right now. So, um, we're going to, I'm going to show you, uh, well, let me just explain. I'm going to make a tuna casserole. Definitely not homemade. It's definitely like three or four ingredients and it's tuna casserole. But I think it's a really cool, quick, easy. Um, I do know how to make the cream of mushroom from scratch. And I really wanted to show you guys that one. The mushrooms were just, um, well, the only ones they had were Baby Bella's. And the Baby Bella's price was really, really a lot more than what. Hey, Rissa. Ah. Hi, baby. So instead of making homemade um, cream of mushroom soup, I'm doing one, two, three, like four ingredient cream of um, tuna casserole. And we eat it in the Midwest. I don't know. If you guys have it down in the south we, i haven't really seen it on menus but we eat it a lot and we make it like like in the morning or something and then we'll stick it in the crock pot and then we come home we give our kids tuna casserole because it's a casserole and that's what we do in the midwest so i'm gonna make it um this is it's just it's a really easy recipe but that's why i wanted to also make and i'm not sure if i made um uh, macaroni salad with you guys but I'm dividing my noodles up here's about one half three quarters of a and I used um, spirals or I don't know what they're called shut up dude well now you're gonna make it now you're gonna make it okay hold up hold up I want to try to tilt you down without losing y'all okay okay I have a pan warming it up just cream of mushroom soup. If you if you guys want to come back, I'll do a different homemade tuna or mat cream of mushroom soup from scratch because I was going to do it on there. You do like onion, garlic, um, minced up onion, minced up garlic, and you get um, on the pan, you put some butter. Like I really wanted to make the homemade cream of mushroom soup. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to just for financial reasons. The mushrooms were only available were the more expensive ones. I try to do things economical for us and for you guys. So, one nineteen for a can of uh, cream of mushroom soup, and then you just put it in your pan. You guys, cream of mushroom soup. That's it. That's it. You're done. Just kidding, you guys. You want to mix that? Sure. And then I use whole milk for this. Um, like, you can use half percent milk, I'm sure. But I use almost, it's about that much milk. About half to three quarters of a pan, can of milk. And then you just pour it in. And you're basically going to, if if it was... How do I say this? If you wanted a doctor, this is where you would doctor. I put, and I'm going to put some minced onion in this. Um, and because I would do that with my homemade cream of mushroom soup. So I didn't want to, I'm trying to do this as simple as I can for you guys. So that way it's a real quick recipe. Versus if it's going to be, if I was going to make this soup from scratch, I would show you all the from scratch. But since this is as easy like three items be done with it throw it in the oven and you can like go and throw the salad together to have on the side but i'm trying to do the things that would be the most uh quickest so cream of mushroom soup three quarters a cup of mushroom uh i'm sorry what is it milk, milk. thank you thank you and then oh you know what i'm gonna add first i'm gonna add the onion if you guys don't like the onion in it don't put the onion in it I could have done it at the beginning, like I said, with the butter and all that other stuff. I'm doing it from as if I'm using canned soup. I'm not going to act like I'm doing it homemade because ugh, it would just be confusing. So, can of soup, throw it in there. Can uh, You fill up the same can with milk. Throw, if you don't want onion, put onion powder. It does make a difference. It gives it a little more flavor. I put a teaspoon of salt and pepper. 
but my husband loves pepper. So if you're if you guys aren't a big fan of pepper, I've had it where I didn't put pepper and it was just fine. I seasoned my noodles with butter and um I would say there was about a half a stick of butter for like a whole one pound bag of noodles and then I put one teaspoon of butter. I didn't put more than that. So the noodles are a little seasoned. You kind of want them seasoned before you go in here simply because you they want to be able to carry on their own. Okay? They won't soak up any much more of the flavor. Right. They'll be bland. They, they'll be a bland noodle. And then canned albacorbe or if you want to get regular tuna, any kind of tuna you get, it's going to that's the that's the the item. Just tuna. Tuna fish, white meat, regular meat, whatever kind of tuna, just chicken noodle. I mean, I'm sorry. Cream of mushroom, milk, tuna fish, just plain tuna, not salmon, but I would like to make some salmon patties for you guys. Once it's hot, then you put your this in there, and this is one half a pound of elbow of um. If you want to do the uh, what are they called the the wavy ones? Wavy. Uh, noodles. Egg oh, egg noodles. Oh, egg noodles. If you want egg noodles, by all means, you can have them. You can do shells. I've made it with shells before, like the shell ones. I've made it with these. Uh, the thing is, do not rinse your noodles, you guys. If you rinse your noodles, your sauces are not going to stick to it. So keep your keep your noodles like uh, basically they're sticky. And then it will look like that when it's warm. See a bubble? That's it, guys. You're going to grab your pre-made noodles. And if you want to make the whole, I would say if you're going to put a whole pound of the noodles, definitely you'll want two cans of the, of the soup. I'm not putting a whole box of the noodles or a package of the noodles because me and Joe won't eat that much uh, tuna casserole. Um, let me use this one, babe. Mm. But you definitely want it to be wet enough, you guys. You want it to be, um, you can put peas in it. I'm not a fan of peas, but Joe loves peas. My daughter loves peas. Since it's just me and Joe eating it, he doesn't mind that we don't do it. He thinks it's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that peas feel like a spider in my mouth. So I'm not doing any peas. All right, that is a half a bag or half a pound of your noodles. Oodles and oodles of noodles. You guys, you guys are going to freak out when I show you what we're going to put on top of it. Joe said he's seen it before. I went over to my friend's house back when we were growing up. I had never seen anybody put something so bizarre on it, but. Um, is your phone up here, baby? Yes. Oh. Yes, it is. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, whoever came in is coming in. You are loved. You are loved by all. You guys are like, you are, man, you're stupid. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Sorry, guys, sorry. I don't mean to. Marissa, thank you, Mama. Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Absolutely would appreciate it. Um, once it's done and you can see that everything's warmed up, you guys. Ta-da! This is what we put over the top of it. <laughs> we put, you guys, I swear we're not making this up. And you know at the bottom of your bag of chips, when all the chips are gone because somebody ate them all? God, that looks really good. That's a lot of casserole it is. i don't even know we're gonna eat that much I'll eat a lot of it. okay so you get your chips potato chips guys believe it or not that is what you get and let's use this Ooh. oh that's one thing yeah. let me use just smash it i should have left it in the bag you guys you're gonna just smash it the best i think are the what are they called like the thin ones not yeah. the rigid yeah original 
Original potato chips, guys. I swear to you, I'm not making this up. <laughs> you guys, I'm totally serious. Just potato chips on the top. I've seen people put breadcrumbs and croutons. I, I have. Just, my mom has always put, just instead of dumping the very bottom of your potato chips, uh, instead of dumping your end of your potato chips, you guys, you're basically going to just crush them in if they're, if they're still um, unbroken ones and you're just going to get those and stick them in the got to manhandle them <laughs> I was like doing it to stop yeah you're going shut up Joe <laughs> manhandle it I'm telling you guys we ate like our kids would eat casseroles because we would, the kids would come home from sports and they'd have whatever was in the house. All right, and then when you get a chance, maybe if you could start the oven. Okay, crushed them up. Ooh, look at that. So instead of dumping them, guys, you just, instead of dumping them, you know how I feel about dumping things. Get your crushed up. Ooh, that's really good, babe. Get them like this, and then you just sprinkle them. Hola, madre. Sprinkle them on, and it actually tastes so good, you guys. It sounds crazy. Who would put potato chips? Oh, you can put peas, and I say crazy. Who would put potato chips? Oh, you can put peas, and I say. Oh yeah, I did. Crushed potato chips, potato chips, over the top. You guys, it's got a little bit of oil over the top. You guys, it's got a little bit of oil because they're chips. And they're just going to get toasted in there from the, the heat. The heat, toast them up. That's it, guys. Sorry, 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 honey. I was going to... If you guys have, like, pasta sauce that you guys are like, hey, I'd rather have, um, like, I don't know. Because I made the Italian dressing one, uh, pasta. I think I made that with you guys. Like uh, salami, red onion, tomato. Um, that's what you can, you know, the rest of the noodles. But since Joe and I are kind of, uh, not so much snackers, but we kind of just, um, I'm going to make the other half of the, the pasta you guys because i split it in half instead of just sticking it in the fridge and then more than likely i would just dump it because it would i wouldn't use it and you know what i mean so i didn't want to do that so i am instead <sighs> do you mind opening that if i can thing? yes if you have tomato i love 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 tomato in my macaroni salad. Um, if you don't have macaroni, if you don't have tomato, then it, I mean, I'm gonna make it. I don't have tomatoes because the ones I had, I forgot. I was planning to divide this live and show you one pound bag made this and this. You guys, it was one bag, 118. That's how much I paid for my bag of pasta, 118. So I'm making macaroni salad. It's got just regular onion and it's got tomato any way you want to um oh. like it you know it's okay sorry guys if that Go hurt ahead. your ears i apologize Go ahead. um so i am half of the bag of pasta i boiled all of it at one time i could have done just a half a bag but i w didn't how did i want to say that i wanted to show you two different options for the same noodles these are the spirals. Don't rinse them off. No matter what you're gonna do with them, you want the starch that's on them to, to cling, whether it be the mayonnaise on this one or Italian dressing on this one, or the cream of mushroom soup on this one. Cream of mushroom soup. And then I topped it, you guys, a cream of mushroom soup, half to three quarter can of regular milk. Then you, once it's warmed up, then you add your can of tuna, you add your peas, whatever you want to put into it at that time. Then uh, mix your noodles around so that all the noodles are covered. Lay it flat, put your leftover bottom of the bag potato chips in 
like just grab them and crunch them really, really, really good. That's what's on the top of the tuna casserole. Are we broiling or baking? Uh, you can put it on bake. I broil. Whatever you do is fine because the food's already hot. Right. So you can do that. Um, I don't think I boiled my egg. I'm supposed to boil an egg to put in my tuna cast tuna uh, salad. What did I come in here for? Mayo. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay. No. I have those same noodles that I used over there, putting diced up onion. Make them as small if you want. If you want them teeny tiny, make them teeny tiny. If you want them bigger than that, then just do them what size you like. Me and Joe don't mind the onion. So, um, tomato is my favorite in it. Unfortunately, Yvonne didn't think ahead and she used it all yesterday. What did I make? Oh, I, we had a hand sandwich with the tomato. Darn it, Yvonne. And tuna with this. You can add, like I said, you can put the peas in that other one. You can put peas in here. I'm not a fan of peas. I feel like spiders in my mouth. And they just popped. That sounds crazy. <laughs> what? They remind me of spiders. I put Miracle Whip. I know I'm in the South, but I was actually a Midwestern girl. So I don't cook. I don't do my salads with... Is that real mayo? Nope, it's Miracle Whip. I don't. I know in the South they do things with Dukes, yeah. onion, tomatoes, and tuna fish, peas. Yvonne's doing. I don't have my two uh, my um, tomato, and I I would never put peas in here. I would put an egg, but I forgot to boil it because my brain was uh, thinking about the other thing. And you just thought of this just now, didn't you? The to make this? Yeah. Yes. Because I had the bag, both the whole bag cooked. Do you want to put a little mayo in there or just all Miracle Whip? Um, definitely put salt and pepper in it, you guys, and then put it to your liking. If you like, you want to try it, if you want it sweeter. I mean, I love this just as a meal, you guys. It's just basically pasta salad. We'll probably have this on the side of tomorrow for lunch. Do you think um, it would be good with tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I know! I would put cherry tomatoes cut in, in half or into fourths. And then I'm Joe's not a fan of it to be extra wet. I don't mind it extra wet. Do you want some mayo? Uh, do you want it in the dad? Yeah. Sure, if you want it, go for it. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Mm, that's so good. I miss that. It tastes like summer. And it just tastes like summer. Hey, Reese, peanut butter. Hey, Krug's wife. Oh, good. Oh, thank you, Krug's wifey. That's so nice to say. She said she's very glad she found our channel. Good. That's very nice. I appreciate oh. that. What happened? Oh, no. Bunch of oil up there. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. No worries. No worries, senora. You guys, I try to think about things on an economical standpoint so you can afford to do stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, I, you can save the $5, go through Starbucks. Without skimping, though. Yeah, still have good flavor. Still have it have... <laughs> How's that working for you, babe? <laughs> it's not. All right, there we go, everybody. <laughs> it's pasta thrown everywhere. It's pasta time. I've never put the mayo in it with Miracle. I always put just Miracle. It calms with. down that sweetness if you don't like the total um, sweetness, but you want some. I love Miracle Whip. Yeah. On a good day, I might have put it, but ooh. try it out, y'all. Y'all might find out you like just mayo and not Miracle Whip. Right. I personally like Miracle Whip. Joe likes the just mayo. Just depends on if you like sweet, super sweet or not. Yeah, some people actually throw sugar in it. If you want peas, like, I would get frozen peas, let them defrost. I wouldn't get them hot. I wouldn't put them in the microwave and get them done. I would just let them defrost and throw them in your pasta salad. Fresh I think yeah, it fresh, would be... 
uncooked peas. Right? Yeah, I definitely don't don't like um, cook them and get them warm because that might be a little weird. But I think it soften them up too much. I think. Huh? You think so? Like they'd yeah, just so. be mushy. I think so. Ooh. Ah, sorry. I'm doing that, aren't I? There you go. <laughs> I'm just making a mess of everything. So, uh, rinses dishes off all the time. And my nephew came, which is 13. You guys, I was so impressed. The 13-year-old was rinsing dishes off. Like, I mean, Joe does it, but he's like a 60-year-old man. And then to see a 13-year-old kid do it, I was like, oh, my God, that's so cute. He's all responsible, like... If anybody doesn't know, we, we are in an RV. That's why we have this cover for this. Uh, a couple other options, you guys. Put, boil an egg. Dice it up into big pieces. You can put that. I. Just, it's kind of your uh, canvas. For the... Um, is it in the broiler or bait? Oh, okay. I get to know. <laughs> It was an all-around great day. <laughs> I think it looks fine. Yeah? Yeah, heck yeah. All right, there we go. One can, one tube, or one, uh, what's it called, of pasta, one uh, bag of pasta, 118, a can of your tuna fish was 77 cents. So, I mean, if we made two things from that, that's 60 cents for each can, uh, dish. 60 cents, because it's 120 divided by two, because I made two dishes. 60 cents plus 77 for the tuna fish. And I mean, if you don't have mayo, it's like two bucks or three bucks for tuna. I mean, for the mayo. Otherwise, macaroni salad, all I put in there was onion, macaroni salad, or mayo, Miracle Whip. Majority Miracle Whip, uh, like one scoop of mayo, real mayo, Helma's mayo, one can of tuna, about a quarter cup of onion, and then tomato would be beautiful in here. We just, Yvonne forgot tomatoes, and I love tomatoes in here. All right, let's, this is, Watch it. I Joe, you scared me. <laughs> There's the tuna casserole. You guys, one can of soup, I get you now, one can of chicken cream and mushroom soup. I definitely, if you know how to make the, I, I would love to make the cream of chicken soup with you guys. The mushrooms, all they had was the Bella mushrooms, which is fine. I just, they were kind of expensive for us. So mushroom, cream of mushroom soup, warm it up. We threw some onions in it. Then we threw a cup uh one can or three quarters of a cup three quarters of a can of milk into the cream of mushroom soup once it was warmed up we threw the tuna fish in it once that was warmed up we threw the half of the bag so a half a pound of the spiral noodles the topping is some people put breadcrumbs on it my mom has always made it with um you know why it's no, just... nice uh, she's always made it with potato chips, always. My mom has always crushed up the potato chips and throws them on top. And that's another reason why I don't put so much um, salt inside of it because the potato chips are salty. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Um, I, the, the potato chips are kind of salty, not terribly salty, but... My mom has always, these, these are a lot of recipes we make are like home recipes that Joe's had, I've had um, growing up. And so we put potato chips on it. I've made it forever with potato chips. Crush them up. I think the best ones are the ones that are um, like the thin flake, the thin crispy ones. Not so much the ridge, but I mean, Joe mashed these really good. You couldn't even tell. Do you think? Mm -hmm. good. Ooh, they look, let's take a picture when you're taking it out, baby. Look at how yummy that looks. I mean, you want to make sure it's nice and wet, you guys, with the soup. Oops, sorry. Don't <laughs> make it a mess. What is going on for you, babe? I don't know. There we go. Okay. 
Let's look at the pan. I want to show them the pan. Doesn't that look yummy, guys? I'm always down for a nice, creamy uh, mac tuna casserole. One can of soup, one can of tuna fish, and a half a pound of noodles. Any noodles you want. Egg noodles are cute, yeah. They were too much money for this girl. So she got the spirals, and they're going to taste just good. Ooh, come on now. See, look at those chippies. Look at that. Because they got oil, and like it's just like doing breadcrumbs with butter. You, This potato chips have grease on them from frying. You know what I mean? Ooh, cream of mushroom. Okay. See if I can do it without making a mess. <laughs> All right. Tink. Tink. Ooh, look at how pretty that looks. All right. Mm. That's good. That's good. Mm. It reminds me of growing up. Oh, yeah. It's just really it's good. good. Good comfort food. It is. We're from the Midwest. This is comfort food for us. Mm -hmm. Um, You know what you're missing on it? My pepper. Your pepper. <laughs> I would always serve yours with pepper. Salt pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste, guys. Don't remember the salt the chips are going to be salty so you don't want to add too much you know a whole a whole bunch to it hot, hot, hot. because you're gonna the people are gonna have if you put salt on it and then you put salty potato chips mm, that is better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. need a little salt and a lot of pepper Never mind. Never mind. Whatever. It's our last Dr. B, y'all. Oh, we got to do our last. Uh, this one, babe. Oh, yeah. Come on with that. Mm, that's so good. Just, Mom, it just tastes like you just came home from like work, for, Mom. Doing barbecue for a side, right? This does. This is like a barbecue. But some my, my cousin would call this tuna salad. And she eats that for dinner because it's got. She just yeah. eats it for. And I'm used to thinking it's next to hot dogs and a burger. Ours is a side. But because you can only eat so much of this. I don't know. She ate it like it was a tuna salad. <laughs> All right, what? What? What are you doing? Mm. See, look, look at what it looks like, guys. There you go. Yum. It makes me want to have a corn on the cob with it. So it tones the sweetness down a little mm -mm. bit. But there's sweetness to it. It does taste good with it though. Mm -hmm. Onion, tomato, tuna fish, and your spirals. I used one bag of the spirals, you guys. 118. For one bag of the spiral noodles, don't rinse them off. Boil them till they're about 15 minutes. Because you want them a little bit firm. Because they're going to have the noodles and they're going to have this. Oh, yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? 28 minutes and we made two different dishes. Good to go. It's pretty good, right? Oh, how about we talk to the people? Love Clouds. Thank you, Love Clouds. I appreciate that. I really do. Don't forget to hit the like. Krug's wife, thank you. Welcome. I'm glad you found our channel, too. All of my people, thank you for being here. Um, I really appreciate it, you guys. I really do. Thank you for coming in. Um, we're, well, I think we're going to do corn dogs. Um, what is our, our corn? What was our thing on our menu? It's going to be like corn dogs and oh, fried ice cream, corn dogs, cookie dough. Uh, oh yeah, we haven't put that up there yet. We were going to do fried cookie dough because we were kind of in the summer spirit mood. Um, we want to do, because we, we made it growing up, uh, not growing up, but with our daughter and our son. Like, it, we, I don't know if anybody's ever had it. It's called deep fried cookie dough and you can order it at restaurants and stuff. We were like, well, if we're going to do fried ice cream one day, we can do fried cookie dough the next day. What was another one that we said? We wrote it down in a book. And, uh, and we were going to wrap them. Oh, yeah, we're gonna. It's, it's a, a unique. Of, it's a it's unique. A, if you guys have never had it, cookie dough ice cream. Yes. Um, oh. Also coming up, 
we're gonna do a series of hey, box bud! Everybody, stop the press! My friend's back. Woo! I'm so happy. I'm glad you got to get away and do your your time away. Everybody needs to do that, Burks. Everybody, and I'm so so happy that you got to do your time away, Mama. Good for you back from the wilderness. <laughs> Girls, when is you back? That's all. I just was worried. I was like, everybody's like, what happened to Burks? Where's Burks? I'm like, everybody calm down. I don't know where she's at. I'll find her. And then I sent you an email and I was like, oh God, she's not even replying to the emails. Maybe I won't find her. Anyways, we're just glad you're back. We're glad you're fine. We were so worried. I was so worried. I told Joe, I go, I mean, because usually you email, we email each other. And so then I was like, gosh, I haven't, e I haven't gotten an email from her in a couple days or a week or something. Oh, yeah. Are you going to go grab them? Oh, they were again? No. Oh. No, I, um, I better go do that. You guys, every time we go and do a laundry in our, like, our <laughs> little laundry area, somehow we forget about them for like an hour, an hour later than when they should have been done. And we go back and they're like folded in a pile. <laughs> I mean, I feel kind of bad because I'm like, oh, my God, they probably think that we, like, did this on purpose. But we don't do it on purpose. And it makes me feel horrible that somebody knows. I mean, I think they're always just dark clothes, like Joe's jeans or whatever. But it's still, it's embarrassing, y'all. Um, Anywho, you guys. Um, deep fried ice cream, fried cookie dough, because it's like summer eve. I mean, we want you to throw the kids. We'll love them. The grandkids coming over. You're going to make a cookie dough, fried cookie dough Sunday. We did it over at the church. Um, we were in charge of like, cause everybody loved the way Joe cooked. They were like, he, he like for football events and stuff, we do a wings throw down and everybody would bring like a five pound bag of wings and Joe was in charge of cooking them all. We'd make the sauces and everything. There we go. Well then one one year, our, our pastor's wife said, hey freckle face. Our pastor's wife said, hey, let's do, let's adventure out. So we did fried or uh, fried Oreos fried z uh uh fried what are they baby twinkies fried twinkies fried oreos fried we twinkies are the best even if you don't like twinkies that much and you're kind of all right with I'm them i'm telling you, you deep fry yes. them with a little batter on them change your yeah. whole world yeah 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 we we loved it we loved having the youth come over and i mean our kids were youth age so that's why we got all involved in everything but um it's we really wanted to do that um, we're kind of in between everything about like making our menu. Wait, wait, hold on, you guys. No, he no, mama. My dog almost busted out of the house. Um, we may be going on location. We're not sure what we're doing. We um, we're we're just unsure about something that we got to do. But we really. Oh. Anyways, you guys. Thank you, Burks, for coming home to the family. We are all we're searching for you. They sent me out to find you, and I found you and brought you back. Just kidding. Um, we had a really long live stream on Sunday, on Saturday, um, Burks, like all day. And it was so, 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 so hot, girl. It was so hot. But we're trying to get our hours up. That's our goal is to get the hours up. Um, you know what? And it's mainly because we can't wait for to, to do the membership. We can't wait. I mean, I know we still need a thousand or we need four thousand to get monetized for AdSense, but we're going to get there. We trust God and we know that God has got a plan. We know he's going to be with us through it all. And we're just like, oh, Burke Spots, did you see that my daughter graduated? Um, she graduated with her master's today with honors, I might say. Um, we've gone through a lot, you guys. We've gone through a lot. She went... Um, we used to live over in uh, Michigan, and she went out to Arizona by herself, and she's 17, and I was so scared for her. Hey, lights for days. Um, and I was scared for her to go out there by herself, and she was just deter she was determined to go by herself. But anyways, we went. She didn't even know what the apartment was going to look like, and she went. She had to room with just different people. Hey, Boo Boo Bear. That's my amazing son. My kids make me so proud. I gotta just stop. I'm gonna start crying just seeing my son's name. Um, but anyways, um, so 
long story short, our son is like a marketing agent. Cause like, while well, we took our little va our week off vacation thing. He's like, hey, maybe you should get your recipes together so we can put them on a, a link. So that way if people are looking for a recipe, they can come over here and see, like say you missed it tonight, like the tuna casserole, cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna make it with you guys, homemade, mushroom soup because i think it's so good you mince up onion you mince up garlic get it on the stove i put a little bit of butter once it's nice and sauteed then i put my mushrooms in there and i get it all like together with each other then i put some heavy cream in there and the heavy cream just kind of starts thickening the rest of the stuff okay and my mushroom soup is really good when it's homemade but I was telling everybody earlier, the mushrooms, all they had was the Bellas, and unfortunately, <clears throat> wasn't able to get them. <coughs> Sometimes we have to, um, we buy groceries from what we can, and, and we're understanding of that. So we didn't get to get what we wanted to get, but I had already wanted to make this with you guys. One can of cream of mushroom soup in a pan warmed up i used a cast iron if you want to use just a regular pot use a regular pot warm up your cream of mushroom soup throw in three quarters of a cup of of three quarters of a can of your heavy of milk whatever kind of milk you use once it's warmed up i threw in pieces of onion like about um a quarter cup of onion into my mushroom soup that has milk in it so now it's all bubbling and it's hot and I get my can of tuna fish, albacore, whatever you're gonna use, homegrown and use albacore. I'm sure it tastes good. I just don't buy groceries like that. I mean, I, I did, but I don't. Um, once it got in there, then you get your noodles, boil your one, one pound bag of noodles. You do them al dente so that they're firm. Don't rinse off your noodles because your, your soup, cream of chicken soup, your cream of mushroom soup or your mayonnaise from the pasta salad will not stick to it. I mean, it, it's, it's gonna work out fine either way. It's better if you don't rinse off your noodles, okay? Once you have your cast iron um, or your pan, whatever, noodles all soup in the soup and everything, pour it in your nine by 13 or whatever pan you plan to put in the oven. I used potato chips because that's what my mom has always used. A lot of our recipes are mom, mom, uh, from what my mom made when we grew up. So my mom got a bag of potato chips, all the crumbs at the bottom, don't dump them, stick them in a Ziploc baggie, put them up on the counter and stick them where your bananas are, somewhere where you're not gonna forget about them. And then Joe happened to buy the ridged ones this time, but I, it didn't matter. We just crushed them smaller, okay? Shush, look at you, barbecue chips. That's unique. See, I love stuff that people do their own little twist. You can put peas in it if you like. I'm not a fan of peas, but when my daughter was home and Joe eats peas, my son, everybody eats peas but me. So I would put peas in then. I don't eat peas, so I don't put the peas now and Joe's okay with it because they taste like spiders to me. I know, I'm 50 years old and I'm still a child about that. But they taste like spiders and I don't want a spider busting in my mouth because it's gonna freak me out. So spread it on your the top of your casserole pan put it in and we that's why I did a smaller because it's just Joe and I and I don't have a need for a 9 by 13 of cat tuna casserole so then I sprinkled the chips put it in the oven the reason I do it like this is because my insides are all hot already I made it on the stove in my cast iron my soup's hot my noodles are hot everything's hot I can just put it on broil now to toast the top where the chips are it only has to go in for about six minutes then five or six minutes. Liz, not 20. But if you want to put it in for 20 minutes, you can. You just put it on low. It's um, from this weekend. We did uh, Sunday. I made a quiche and I was like, oh, 20 minutes. And then we made um, uh, potatoes. And I was like, oh, 20 minutes. And every, all of my stuff is usually 20 minutes. So anyways, you guys, I said all that to say, um, we're excited. We're really, really, really excited. We're getting close, closer and closer. We're really hoping to get to the um, the hours. If you guys are interested in watching, rewatching some of our old videos, some of our live streams, watching another recipe or something, we'd love to get our hours up. We only need 
uh, like 1300 now. I know it sounds like a lot, but <laughs> it's not that much, you guys. It's really, we're, we, <laughs> we're just trying. Um, I'm going to see what you're saying, uh, legs for days. Um, oh, you guys, that's what I was going to tell you guys. We're going to do a series coming up. It's flatbreads. Let's just say, uh, God, there's really good ones. The San Antonio is one of them. Drew, are you listening? One's the San Antonio, one's the New Yorker, one's the black and blue, and then the other one's, um, it's a barbecue chicken. I think Joe said that one's gonna be the Memphis one. Um, Cause we know we, we're like the recipe. So, I mi amor, he's over here walking with our clothes stacked up. Um, so those are our flatbreads coming up. We're gonna do a series where we're gonna do one a day for four or five days. Why are you guys looking all serious? The dogs are staring at me. We're gonna do flatbread series. <laughs> I love flatbreads too, girl. One of them is the San Antonio has chorizo and shrimp on the same flatbread. And then black and blue has um, blackened steak. Jay, blackened steak and blue cheese? Yeah. The black and blue? Yep. And then one of them's the New Yorker. That's the, I don't know, they're good, you guys. I swear to you, once you make these flatbreads, your life will turn into a whole mush. You'll be like, I will never eat another thing. And he's gonna make the vinaigrette, uh, the balsam, uh, bacon, bacon balsamic, balsamic vinaigrette. Bacon balsamic vinaigrette, you, you guys. It, it is, think, Lick your fingers good. That's how good it is. Joe, am I lying? It doesn't look great. It, it looks kind of brown, a real light brown gray, weirdly. But then you taste it. You almost grab it and you squirt it in your mouth. <laughs> it's that, Joe, is it that good? It's so good. It's so good. I mean, they only, you couldn't get it on the side, like order it. Hi, my amor. What is she keep trying to get through there? No. Because she keeps looking in there. Um, you couldn't get it unless you ordered it from the, well, one from the restaurant they have it, but from the, um, how do you say it? It wasn't one of the dressings that you could order. Like I'll take a house salad or they don't even have a house in Cobb salad. It, the, the restaurant that they had was very, um, a little bit on the bougie side. And, and so the dressing that it was, we had a friend who was a chef there. So then we asked him, what is that dressing? And, and so he's like, we have everybody who requested and da 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 and then we were like oh my god it is so freaky i know i am so proud freckle face it's so good and i want joe to do a salad where we do that with you guys my salad had like red onion um just a regular spring a spring mix with red onions pieces of ham on it sorry oh my god you guys I swear you will, you will, you know how a lot of times you don't want to overdress your salad because you don't want it to be soggy? You want it soggy. I mean, you want, oh, it's re, oh, I thought we it's had. It's redunculous. I was just going to say it's redunculous. <laughs> it's redunculous. It is. So, flatbread series is coming up. Well, first we're doing the dessert, dessert week where we're going to do fried, app, fried, um, fried ice cream, yep. fried cookie dough. Maybe we'll do the Twinkies, but I mean, it's kind of the same concept, but I mean, hey, if you guys want to do it. Um, the cookie dough, the ice cream, and there's like three things that we wanted with you guys. The, um, the, the one where we... I the, love it, too. I want to show you guys how to make the, the homemade cream. cream of mushroom soup, you guys. We wrap the ice cream. Okay, we're going to wrap the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tell them or just wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Just know... Just know that. It's like a third uh, version of what we were doing with ice cream. Yeah. yeah. I'm your mod. She's in there looking around yeah. the corner. That's her little um, Yeah, move the things so I can show my little baby. Okay, hold it's on. Like she's in jail. Look at guys. There's like a little rail. <laughs> There's a rail, she and she walks the, back through there the so window. she can see out the window and see all the cars. Who is it? 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 Go oh, look at the window. Who's here? <laughs> see, she go. goes to the window to see who's over there. Okay, now come out, silly goose. Is that the cutest thing? So we we move the... Oh, see, no, wait, Bailey. 
Oops. Oh, Bailey can get back. Bailey, she doesn't like that. No, she it's like the too squeeze. tight of a squeeze for her. And Nova will squeeze her little chubby body through it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Our dogs are goofy, and we love our little goofy dogs. Okay, um, you guys, we love you guys. We're going to hop off. So, you guys, we got out of here early. But just know that our dessert one's coming up. The fried ice cream, fried cookie dough. <sighs> Whoever's into the healthy thing, just give us a couple of weeks and then we'll, we'll get back into the healthy. Flatbreads are kind of healthy. <laughs> Flatbreads are kind of healthy, aren't they, you guys? Like I said, we have to advocate healthiness. Just don't do what we do. Eat healthy, everyone. Yeah. Joe, you're we'll going to do the unhealthy eating for you. We don't want to offend people, but I mean, you guys, we live in the South. I don't, I mean... We make good food, man. We do. All right. We make, we make good, hearty, yeah. comfort food. Yeah. Yummy stuff. Okay, guys. Um, You know, that's what's funny, though, Joe, is like, we don't mean for it to be unhealthy. Burk Bunch, Freckle just, Face, Legs for Day. The, oh, girl, uh, I want that. I have the fried ice cream, too. The, the cream of mushroom soup is really, really easy. I had planned to make it with everybody, but I'm going to make this again. We just, we need a little gap of, you know what I mean? We, we really want to get it. I, you know what I really appreciate with you guys? You guys are very patient. Um, like, there's, like, I would rather, I would love to cook on a budget of, like, it takes tomatoes and da 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 and mushrooms. And we just don't have the means. And I don't say that so anybody can feel sorry for us. I try to at least explain to you, tomato would be good in this macaroni salad. I didn't have any more tomatoes. And unfortunately, we didn't really have the means to go grab, like, let's grab tomatoes. For us, unfortunately, for us, it's okay. We, we can eat it like this. I just want you guys to be able to, so that's why I tell you, hey, if you guys want to put peas in this, if you guys want to put um, tomatoes in that, you guys are more than welcome. That's what it goes with tomatoes for sure going here. I don't want you guys to be like, ooh, that doesn't even taste good. Or It, it, it should have one other ingredient that I put on a regular basis. I put onion, tomato, and uh, we're gonna, tuna we fish. We're going to go back again. Yeah, because... We for, just used up every tomato we had. Yeah, we used, um, we used them for the... Um, Bruschetta, the uh, caprice, yeah. and then we made um, the stuffed peppers. We did the stuffed yeah, peppers with like the tomatoes, and then four meals worth. Yeah. So, anyways, you guys, thank you for being patient, Madre. I will call you later. Um, we we may be live tomorrow. I'm not sure. I know something's scheduled, but we kind of are in between, um, kind of making decisions what we're gonna do. Um, as far as if we're going to be able to go live or not. Um, because why? We might. I, is the chef on here right now? Um, chef Boo Boo Bear, are you on? I don't think he's on right now. Okay, then I can tell you. Because we're trying really hard to go back to our, um, our hometown where we're at. There's... Uh, just there's a we really would like to be back at, uh, in our, where, we, where we're from um, there's a situation there that needs us to to go there um, it just we're trying to make it happen so we may be going live tomorrow from Michigan we may be going live tomorrow from Kentucky on our way to Michigan um, but ideally our plan is to be in Michigan and then take you guys to the beach that we used to go, Captain's, all the places that we go. Um, we told you guys about the um, pig in the blankets. We told you guys about Skiles and Petrinos and all of our favorite places. They're just, oh, some of our favorite places. But we're, we, we're trying to see if it's, it's possible for us to do. And if it's possible for us to do, then we want to bring you guys along with us. Um, Captain Sunday, we had President Bush stop there and ate a Sunday, a Tommy Turtle from that location. Um, there's about two or three presidents have gone to the Captain Sunday. Um, but there's just a bunch of great, great things that we had when we were growing, not growing up, but our town where we lived for the last 20 years um, that we really wanted to take you guys to. So it all depends on what we can do on our end. If we're able to, to go, then, I mean, if we're there, y'all are going to be with us. Um, if we're not able to go, then we'll be here and we'll be doing a live from home because, 
either way, we with you guys. Um, yeah, you know what? If you could keep us in prayer, I really love that. I really, really love that. Keep us in prayer. Keep Joe in prayer. Keep us in prayer. Um, <laughs> if you're able to cash app us, that'd be wonderful. Um, you'll be so much closer. I know you're up right up in Canada. Berks will meet up by the um, UB. Um, you guys, if you're able to cash app us, that'd be wonderful. If you guys are able to PayPal, cash app, any anything, any way, it'd be amazing help for us. Um, so we can get up. Hey, Cinderella. Thank you for coming in, mama. Um, it would help. It would help us a lot to get up to Michigan to take care of what we got to take care of. If you guys aren't able to do it, it's cool. You guys like it and share it. But that's ideally kind of what we wanted to do was while we're there, go take you like probably like three or four lives a day, which is so cool because I wanted to take you guys on three or four lives a day because there's so many things that I want to take you guys to. It, we would never have enough time to do one live stream and we're going to cook at home and, and make something. Like there's probably about 15 places that we, we want to take you guys to. Um, we really, really want to take you guys to. So if we're able to do it, you guys know that you guys are, you guys, we will be there with you. We're not, if we're, if we're not there, we'll be here with you guys. <laughs> Basically, you're going to have us either way. It just depends on, will this be our background or will there be Lake Michigan, uh, beaches? And I mean, that there's just so much we want to take you guys to. Our blueberry farms, remember we told you guys about the blueberry farms? We're going to take you to the blueberry farms. We're going to take you to the farmer's market. All the stuff that we have and I love. We miss it. We miss it a lot. But we have to take care of some uh, business that's up there if we can do it. And if we can't do it, then we're going to be here making corn dogs. Beep, beep. <laughs> we love you guys. Berks, I'm glad you're back, mama. You make my heart. You make my heart skip a beat when I saw that Burke's bunch in there. So thank you uh, for just getting back safely from your little getaway. I mean, I'm not going to give anything out. I just know that, uh, I mean, we talked um, where you went away to. So I'm glad you're back, Mama. All I want is you back safely. Everybody, we love your freckle face, legs for days. Um, Cinderella finally made a live. Woo! Um, Remy girl. Remy girl, I love it. I love that name. I really do. I love that name, you guys. Um, so we're gonna. We're. I'm excited, y'all. We're. I'm taking y'all with us. Bert, uh, Remy girl, Cinderella, Freco face, abs, legs for days. You guys, I want that uh, fried ice cream too. I mean, I am proud of my baby. I mean. My baby makes me proud in what she did. And my son's, oh, Nikita Marie. Welcome back again, mamacita. Um, okay, love clouds, freckle face. Did you tell them that uh, she graduated? Yes, I did. I posted mama's picture. Um, the alpha chef. Did you tell them on here? Heck yeah. You did? Um, yeah, the, it, you know what, you guys? It's a whole, we, when our daughter went away to school, yes, we could have just been like, hey, we'll see you when you get back. She's over in Budapest, Hungary. She didn't go down the street, which is, there's nothing wrong with going down the street, but she's not down at um, the University of Michigan. She's not down at, um, she's in Hungary. She had to get a passport and, hey, Eva, no, I didn't have Eva all up in my little live. Eva, welcome, baby boo. I'm so excited. I got all my little peeps in here. Um, so yeah, our daughter went away to Budapest, Hungary, and she thought she she's an official anthropologist. My daughter graduated with honors, all A's. She took 10 courses, you guys, 10 classes a semester from the fall that she got there, the spring, then the fall she started again. She took 10 courses and had 10 exams for the whole time she was there. So she had two years master's and in Jesus name, um, she worked at a Starbucks there. She made, believe it or not, they paid $2 an hour. They should be ashamed of themselves, but they did. $2 an hour at the, um, that's just what they paid. Um, but anyways, um, 
Um, we're just so proud of her. She really did work hard to get where she's at. There's a lot, I mean, when I say there was a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stretching the dollar while she was in school there. Um, I mean, it is what it is, you know what I mean? We could have let her go through this by herself. We were gonna go through it with her. We're proud of her. We're, we're not gonna let her suffer, struggle by herself. Um, a mom, like, like as soon as my daughter's like, mom, I didn't have enough for this last night. And I'm like, can you do me a favor and do not go to bed hungry? Like, at least tell me, let me send you something. I don't care if I want to send you $3. You can get something with it, but don't do that. It just made me so mad. Um, but anyways, we are at the end of the road. Um, she got honors, all A's, all A's on 10 exams a semester and her thesis her thesis was turned in they asked her to be on the the board of conference when they have um they're having a conference coming up and they asked her to represent the board on be on there as well um she's has a ba a bachelor's in communications an associates in graphic arts, graphic arts and a master's degree in anthropology social, social, social science, science. Anthropology. Social science anthropology. What? Me, I raised, I mean, we, we did it together, but I mean, do you know, understand? I was the most laid back mom. Like if she had class, I'd be like, oh, well, as long as you get your homework done, dust, or but she never did. We would just take her to, like, she goes, all I know, mom, is that I did what I had to do. Cause here I am graduating with my masters. And I'm like, you're right. What did you say, Cinderella? Hey, my daughter is still at home while she's getting her degree. I'm glad it's easy. It, you know what? Whatever way they can get Any way you could, because I just, we, you know what? Any way we can help them. I didn't want her starting life 60,000 in the hole, 75,000 in the hole. We basically, we paid her, her school that year, the semester, They that, that's how they are. They. Everybody got a scholarship, but uh, United States, believe it or not, they she didn't find that out till she was told if she took um, culture, uh, Hungarian culture, she would be able to qualify for a scholarship and they would give her a stipend or something like that to go towards her uh, apartment or rent over there. Well, they didn't say she that. She took it. it. She took it, so she went Basically. there. She got there and they said, oh, I'm sorry. It's not for US citizens. After she took the class. After she took the class. And, and aced it. She aced it and she didn't get to get that. But what do you do? She's already there. She's there. Like They hate us. They didn't like Americans over there. And we. what do you do? She, yeah. anyways, we made the best of it. You know what? There's a reason that God had her there. God gave us the strength, the mentality, and the, her the courage to do it. And at that point, she was already there. All we can do was, I know, you know what? I'm excited for her. She's 25, no kids, no boyfriend. God, that in itself. I mean, men are great, but get your education first and worry about men later because all they're going to do is try to take up your time and like, don't you love me? And let's hang out with me. And yeah, I'm just kidding. So we're proud of her. We really, really are proud of her. She did a lot of, um, she worked two jobs when she was in Arizona getting her bachelor's degree. She worked two jobs. She worked at P.F. Chang's and she worked at Panera. And I mean, you do what you do to, if it's your kids, right, Cinderella? It's your child. Who's going to go? Well, it sucks to be you. Me and Joe are going out for steak tonight. Oh, you're not eating tonight? Oh, well, that sucks, Destiny. No, we're not going to do that. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna help her. We're gonna help her and we helped her. And I don't regret it for one minute of one day. Did we eat a lot of potatoes and rice? Yes, y'all saw what we, we just did this started in January, December, January. And it was like, let's just try to get a channel. And then all of a sudden we fell in love with cooking with everybody. So then it wasn't even like, I mean, honestly, we started out like, oh, let's maybe we can do this. But then we like really, you know what it is, you guys? We're in, I'm in chats, and somebody goes, hey, Mitt, and I made you this this weekend. Or, hey, Mitt, and I made this. And it just makes me feel so 
it makes me feel so good. Or, hey, my daughter's coming home this weekend. We're going to make this. And I just, it makes me so happy that people are, are like the cordon bleu, chicken cordon bleu. I thought it was difficult to make. And then all of a sudden, Joe's like, yeah, then you wrap it up and you roll it up. And it's like, Joe made it look all easy. I was like intimidated, very much so. It was hard as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was crapping my knickers. <laughs> Joe, shut up. Was. was it hard? It was kind of hard, yeah. He made it look easy, didn't he? Holy So, moly. I mean, we're just crazy. Well, it wasn't that hard. It was nerve-wracking. Yeah. Do it on camera? Yeah. I think that's what's the hardest thing is, like, sometimes there's, like, 15 people watching. Joe's making a crust, and all of a sudden the crust starts tearing, and I'm like, Poor Joe. I'm like, that's all I'm seeing, folks. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, we're kind of blessed that we get along. You know, I kind of like him. I might as well keep him around at this point. She's all right. Tell me that this is not the prettiest little baby girl. Hello. Hello. She's so precious. You love mama? Kiss, kiss, kiss. You don't want to do it? They usually say, I love you. Can you say, I love you? No. One more, one more. <laughs> I love you. Hey, I love you. Woo, woo, woo. carrots you guys they love and they them. love them that's a treat man just a carrot like that we cut into bite sizes or just like this and they think that we're giving them like a real treat sunflower me missed you mama it's okay watch the replay don't don't ever feel bad hang do what you have to do we're here we're here mama always i love you here and i miss you when you're not here all right we're gonna get off <laughs> They're eating now. I know. They ain't gonna, they ain't come on, gonna, come on, come on. They ain't gonna love you right now. Joe. <laughs> I love you. They're, they're loving the carrot. Run, run. Good enough. Oh, I missed her whole mouth. <laughs> All right, y'all. My dogs are so talented, right? Ah, oh, thank you, Cinderella. We try. We do. I can't wait for all of a sudden to be coming Where's home. Where's her hat? Her You make my heart so excited. Her Where's, son's coming home. Where's her thug I hat? I thought I washed. Is it in there? I think it's on where the white fan is right there. Yeah. The green one? Yeah, we got to show the thug hat. That's a cute one, huh, Joe? Yeah. Um, hold on. You got to find it, babe. They will love our little girl in it. You guys, I absolutely love you guys. Anything, Joe? I don't see it. No, babe. Nothing? No. Darn it. Let's save the bone thug. I know. Bone thug dog. Where would it be? It's either, I don't know, it's in there. Or, I don't see it where out here. It's probably on my, I have a picture of her wearing it. But you guys look at one time we left her home 
and when uh, the person who was watching her, our daughter-in-law and my son, they sent me this picture because she was sad. We, we left her, uh, we didn't bring her with us when we traveled this time, and she sat next to the door like this. Tell me that these dogs do not have souls. <laughs> she does. I don't have it, babe. That makes me so sad. You gotta have a picture of it. That's what I was looking for. I don't know where it went, but... Oh, man. That's your favorite hat. It is. And now I don't even have it. How do I not have a picture of the baby? I have a picture where she's, like, got a little mask on, and she loves her little mask. All right, it's not here. Okay, you guys, fine. That's, a, that's my phone. Yeah, my, I'm using oh, mine. Yeah. So I, don't I'm trying to, I don't think it's on my phone. I'm trying to see if it's in our joint one or something. Oh, the cloud. Yeah, the cloud. Shared albums. I don't have it. Here, give it to me. I'll watch. I'll look for it. I gotta check the names. I want that one. Uh -huh. Alright. Um, sunflower. I will definitely watch replay. Thank you, thank you. I love my fur babies too. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. I know. Subscribe. These dogs are so naughty. They know that is it. So, anyways, if you guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subbed. Um, hit the like, you guys, on your way out. I'd love you guys to do that. And... What other one? Uh, Cash App, PayPal. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Venmo. Oh, we have Venmo too, you guys. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. And then, depending on everything else, maybe we'll see you guys in Michigan. That'd be so cool. You guys will be able to see it. I'm, I just want you guys to see where we, you know, everything we told you guys. Our blueberry trees, our blueberry farms that we have, that they're everywhere. All right, we love you guys. Thank you guys. Cinderella, thank you for coming in, mama. Everybody, thank you all. I appreciate all of you guys coming in. Have a blessed night, you guys.